Salam sejahtera dan bersama saya Reza Zulkar. Pilihan ini bisnes awal ini. Perbankan dalam talian membolehkan orang awam dan peniaga berurusan dengan mudah pada bila-bila masa dan di mana saja. Akses lebih mudah menerusi perkhidmatan yang ditawarkan dapat menjimatkan masa selain mengurangkan kos untuk setiap pembayaran menggunakan cek. Bagi membincang dengan lebih lanjut bersama bisnes awal ini, di studio adalah Ketua Bahagian Perbankan dan Pembayaran dalam talian Maybank Malaysia, Mohd Suhail Amar Suresh. Suhail, hi. Thank you for joining us. Now, first of all, Uh, recently, Bank Negara announced that the migration uh, to e-payment could save uh, about 1% of the GDP. And also, uh, according to Bank Negara right now, about 70%, um, about 74% of uh, account holders are using uh, or have access to internet banking. But only for about 40% of them are using uh, inter internet banking. Is there is there a reason to why the um, low number to people actively um, using internet banking? Is it security? What, what do you make of it? Um, the, the, the numbers are definitely growing. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it's compared to the, the physical world where uh, customers use checks. Co mm -hmm. In comparison to checks, yes, the numbers are relatively low. Mm -hmm. But one of the fundamental factors uh, is probably the concern over security, mm -hmm. right? And, and like all other e payments within the financial industry, right? I mean, I think uh, the financial industry will definitely assure and guarantee you that security is of paramount importance and we guarantee security mm -hmm. and if you look at e-payments right and say for instance in Maybank and we have Maybank to you mm -hmm. um, when you log on to Maybank to you you have things like user ID and password and once you sign on you even have an image to authenticate that that is a genuine website and you are the authorized uh, user who is going into the website mm -hmm. um, but in, in addition to that what we also have to ensure that you know I mean we, we have things like uh, uh, authentication mechanism, two-factor authentication to guarantee consumers all alike that mm -hmm. security is guaranteed. So, I mean, my advice is, I mean, there's really no need to be overly concerned about security. Mm -hmm. yeah? um, you, you should just try it once, you will love it, and you'll get latched onto it like uh, any other e-payment service. Yeah. Well, Maybank to you has been the uh, ha has been a household name when it comes to uh, trend um, uh, online transaction. Yeah. You know, people will just say, "Oh, can you just Maybank to you to me?" Yeah. Uh, but but we want to know the the background. You know, how fast has the um, the e-payment uh, uh, transaction uh, system provided by Maybank? Uh, what, what kind of growth have we seen for the past few years? Sure, excellent. I mean, today, Maybank, yeah, uh, as an industry, we are the market leaders. Mm -hmm. We have more than 45-odd percent in comparison to the entire industry. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's our online volume. We have more than 2.5 million customers who are registered online with us. Uh, in terms of electronic transactions, we grow at a compounded rate of 20-25 percent year over year. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the volume is fantastic, tremendous. I mean, for a record, right, in 2013 alone, Maybank to you grossed more than 1.2 billion transactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 1.2 billion. So that's really a record, and uh, the, the volume keeps growing. I mean, it's phenomenal. And and what are some of the measures taken right now to further encourage people to um, transact um, online? Uh, one is the cost itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, one year ago, Maybank to you, our transactions were priced at two ringgit a transaction mm -hmm. for, for gyro-related transactions mm -hmm. when you want to do fund transfers from one bank to the other. Mm -hmm. Effective uh, May this year, uh, May last year, sorry, 2013, we have brought down the transaction fee to 10 cents a transaction. Mm -hmm. So really, it's even cheaper than the stamp duty that we all pay for a physical check. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is one. The other is continuous education and promotion that we do to our customers. Yeah. We, we inculcate the habit of uh, security and why you should do e-payments and the efficiency of e-payments. Yeah? So we continuously educate and create the kind of awareness to encourage people to move towards security. And also right now you have quite a number of uh, sort of vendors uh, working together with, with you, right? Uh, I mean merchants, merchants, sorry, merchants yeah, working yeah, together with yeah. you. Right? I mean you can buy movie tickets um, uh, and pay them using payment to you and mm -hmm. you can also pay your bills. Yeah, um, yeah. What are some of the maybe features that you want to highlight? I will give you three, uh, you know, you can highlight three of your best features uh -huh. um, provided by Maybank to you. Uh -huh. And after that, we mm -hmm. want to talk about Maybank to uh, e because I think people know about Maybank to you, but people don't really know about Maybank to e sure. But you know, best three features of Maybank to you. Sure. What, what what do you think? Okay, one Maybank to you, like any other retail outlet out there, 
we have more than 900 billers registered with us. Mm -hmm. Meaning which you are a member of, you, you, if you're a customer of Maybank and you're a member of Maybank to you, you can virtually pay any bills, anytime, anywhere, without the need to go to a physical outlet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that, that is one. And every transaction is done quite instantaneously, that's mm -hmm. one. Number two, the transactions, when you pay bills, you don't actually have to pay any transaction fee. The transaction is free, mm -hmm. right? And the, the, the third one is you will know for who you paid and why you paid. There is an audit trail and there is a reference and record that is incorporated as part of our Maybank 2 features. Okay, so those are the three best features of Maybank 2. Mm -hmm. But what about Maybank 2E? Because I think people, they usually uh, know they know what Maybank 2E is, but what is Maybank 2E? Maybe you can share with us uh, and the benefit of Maybank 2E, especially when it comes to um, now you have huge numbers of SMEs and, and you know you want to make the transaction um, price-wise cost for transaction lower. Would, would Maybank 2E be the solution for that? Oh, excellent. Yeah. I mean, Maybank 2E and our cash management system, right? We, we have won so many awards year over year, over the last couple of years, yeah? And it's really a regional solution. I mean, across all Maybank uh, branches and overseas units that we have, mm. we actually have, we are actually connected via Maybank 2E. So if you are an SME and you want to do, be able to transact and move funds between your companies across the various countries, mm -hmm latch on to Maybank 2E. Yeah? Mm. And, and, and Maybank 2E, importantly, via cash management system, it helps you manage your working capital, accounts payable, accounts receivable. You can do salary payment for all your employees irrespective of where their bank account is in a very automated fashion. And in addition to that, you can also make in an automated fashion, you know, payment to reg, uh, regulatory authorities like your ZAC card, your EPF, mm -hmm. your SOXO and everything else. Yeah? So all of that, you send a single file into Maybank 2E, Everything is processed quite seamlessly and it's so transparent to you. You really don't have to have administrative officers or clericals to actually help do all of this. So it's, is it's like Maybank to you, but for businesses, right? Yes, for SMEs and businesses. Okay, um, let's move on. Let, let, let's just go back to the, to the, to the issue of security because I think a lot of people right now are, are a bit uh, skeptic to go um, and do online banking because of the um, reported fraud cases. Uh -huh. what, are, uh, what is Maybank doing? Um, to to educate the public mm -hmm. and also to make sure that um, these cases will not happen in the future. Because okay. I, think, I think it's good to be ideal, right? So, so, so it, uh, stop these cases from happening in the future. Sure. Um, first is, uh, uh, let me share with you what, what we do internally, mm -hmm. right? On a, very peer, on a very regular and periodic basis, our systems are authenticated, our systems are validated, our systems are tested to ensure that our security is at its optimum. Mm -hmm. yeah? Every transaction that comes to us is authenticated and we have various mechanisms to ensure that that transaction actually, act, actually does come from you and not a froster. Mm -hmm. right? Within our system itself, we actually have zero frauds today. Mm -hmm. yeah? I mean, there's no negligence in the system, ex exceptionally zero. Mm -hmm. yeah? When a fraud actually happens when customers very, they, they, are, they are naive, yeah? I mean, what they do is when a froster call them or send them a URL link and a bogus URL link, mm -hmm. the customer go, goes and click in the URL link, keys in their user ID and password. So my advice, uh, my advice to customers is to stay away from phishing or phone scams. Yeah. Do not key into any URL link that is sent to you via email. Mm -hmm. Do not open emails that you don't know and key, key in your user ID and password. Mm -hmm. If you want to go into the bank's website, key in the user ID, uh, key in the URL of the bank all by yourself into the tab and, and, and key in your user ID and password. That is safe. What we do continuously is we continuously create awareness mm -hmm. we educate our customers we tell them do not do this and do not do that yeah I mean that that, that is a continuous education program mm -hmm. yeah so we, we protect our customers very well in that sense yeah effective April 1st um, mm -hmm. there'll be a charge imposed on check if I'm not mistaken 50 cent uh, for physical check um, and, and and moving forward do you foresee more people using um, the uh, e-payment system to save money first mm -hmm. and foremost and also you know for convenience sake uh, definitely yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely yes. The, the 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 fifty cents that's being charged on the checks. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean just as a background to it, right? I mean, as as a fin financial industry today, right? B checks are heavily subsidized. Mm -hmm. Per check leaves, right? The moment it is 
you, you want to transact a check and the check is banked into your account, it causes something like three ringgit for for bank. The charges that's being levied upon is just 50 cents. Mm -hmm. right? So this is actually to also inculcate a behavior to move towards e-payment. Mm -hmm. And once everyone moves towards e-payment, you know, efficiency comes in, cost saving comes in, like you correctly said, right? If the country moves fully e-payment, it saves, a pro I mean, About there's a 1% of, of, of GDP. Yes. That is something like 9.7, not billion mm -hmm. on an annual, if, if you analyze that, yeah? I mean, so that's really good cost savings and efficiency that you're talking about. The, 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 the 5 million ringgit question before we end this discussion is, if uh, people migrate or when people migrate to um, uh, e-payment or use more uh, of the services, for example, Maybank to U and also Maybank to E um, in the future, will there be a need to go to the bank in the future? Uh, the way Maybank sees this, uh -huh. okay, today we all go to the bank to bank, yes. right? In a year, two years' time, we will bring the bank to you. Uh -huh. So there's really no need to visit a physical bank. So it's there's there's no need to go to the banking hall, take a number, and just wait. Uh, not at all, right? I mean, we will bring banking to you. It will be very highly automated. It will be seamless, and you can do everything from your tab or your laptops. Okay, thank you very much, Suhail. Suhail Ahmad Suresh, Ketua Bahagian Perbankan dan juga Pembayaran dalam Talian Maybank Malaysia membincangkan tentang e-payment dan juga faedahnya kepada pengguna dan juga kepada perniagaan. Dan kita akan berhenti berehat seketika selepas ini dengan pengeluaran minyak sawit merudum.